Hi, Paul here from Trek It with Harry. And today we're doing a slightly different video. We're doing this video, uh, as you can see from the title, it's called uh, Be Bold, Start Cold. And the reason we're doing the video is we do get a lot of comments and questions uh, on our videos. And a lot of people talk about how kind of disappointed they are with the breathability of particularly insulated and other types of jackets. And when we've uh, kind of drilled down into the reasons behind this, we found out that what people are doing generally uh, is starting out far too warm. Hence the title of the video, Be Bold, Start Cold. Now, before we go any further, I must attribute that phrase to our good friend, Mr. Bob Thomas from Contour Outdoor, who is our kind of outdoor mentor and guru. And he's always drilled into us when we'd be going outdoors on training sessions, be bold, start cold. So we are by the car park at Hay Bluff. It's uh, January, mid-January. It's about zero, maybe one degrees. There's a bit of a, a breeze, so the wind chill's dropping slightly. And I'm cold. I will readily admit I am cold. I've got a base layer on. I've got my mountain equipment switch jacket on. I'm cold, but I know that I'm gonna go up there in a minute. That's Hay Bluff up there. And I am gonna be getting warm. I'm gonna start building up a sweat. I'm gonna be working hard. And the last thing I wanna do is overload my layers with too much moisture from my sweat. Cause that way I am just gonna be horribly uncomfortable all day. So if you start cold, you're not gonna overload your system with sweat. And you know, as you go up there, you're gonna warm up. So be bold, start cold. Right, I'm warm now, and a bit out of breath. Just come up from the car park, not far, and I've really warmed up. It's amazing how quickly you gain that heat just by some physical exercise coming up here. And whilst I may be cold, well, I was cold down there. I'm warming up now. I'm not stupid. In my rucksack, I have got all the elements of my normal layering system. So I've got a full set of waterproofs, I've got some additional insulation. I've got some warmer gloves. I've got a warmer hat. So I know, well, we all know, don't we? As we go up, the temperature drops. So I'm prepared for all eventualities, for it getting colder, it getting wetter. So just make sure that you've got all the right kit in your rucksack. <sighs> right now, now, Harry, I'm warm. Harry's warm too, he's taking his jacket off. But I'm gonna stop here. There's some uh, paragliders setting up over there. So I'm just gonna hang around 10, 15 minutes and watch them take off. I think it'll be really interesting. But what I don't wanna do is lose all that lovely warmth that I've just generated and chill right down again. And also any moisture that's built up in my system is gonna chill me down quicker. So I'm not sweating, I'm not overly hot. I'm just a really good temperature now. And I just want to maintain that temperature with some extra insulation. So I'll just get into my pack. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is change my hat. So I'll take off my beanie, off my uh, cap, sorry. Pop on a beanie, because as you can see, I don't have a lot of insulation up here. And as soon as I stop, heat goes very quickly from the top of my head. So on goes my beanie, keep top of my head warm. Into the pack. Now there's my waterproof layer. That's going to keep the wind off. It's not going to give me any insulation as such. So I'm going to reach for my down jacket. I've got this really nice Rab Infinity Alpine. Packs down nice and small. It's got great weather protection as well. So if it was a bit damp and a bit wet, it wouldn't harm the jacket. So I'm just going to pop that on. And that's going to keep all that lovely warmth inside. It's going to keep me protected from the wind and the cold. I'm going to stand here and watch these guys jump off the side of a mountain suspended only by some lightweight nylon. Well, right, well we're up on the top of the ridge, and as you can probably see and hear, it's blowing a hoolie up here. But I'm nice and warm, I've still got my switch jacket on, I've still got my base layer on, that's it, that's all I've got on. 
My head's nice and warm now. I've got my heavier weight gloves on, my hands are nice and warm, so I'm keeping my extremities comfortable and warm. But I am going to chill off very quickly if I don't get another layer on. What I don't want to do is add masses of insulation because I know I've got another, I don't know, 5, 10k to go that way and I'm going to warm up again. But I just need to keep that wind off. So this is where your shell comes in. Love these. And instantly, instantly that chill has gone, but I'm not piling on loads and loads of insulation. Get my hands covered up again. Don't want to put cold hands into gloves, keep my hands warm. And now I'm ready to keep going. I've got plenty of protection from this fabulous ME Satoro jacket. Enough now to see me through this really windy section up on the top. Right, that's it, we've made it to the top, to the good old trig point up on Hay Bluff. And as you can see, we've stopped. I've had a little bite to eat, I'm gonna have a little drink. So I've put the layers back on, and you may have noticed I put my down jacket straight over the top of my Gore-Tex, and that's called overlayering. And it just means that when I wanna get going again, I'm not taking off too many layers. I'll simply take off the heavy insulation that I've got on, and then I'm down to those thin layers again, ready to hike off down the ridge there. I've also put my over trousers on uh, because I'm sat around five, 10 minutes. I just don't want my legs to chill. I've got these muscles nice and warm. I want them to stay nice and warm. So over trousers have come on. And I'm absolutely bone dry in here. There's, there's been no sweat. I've not overheated. I've not been too cold. So that principle of starting out cold and then adding and subtracting layers as you see fit, as you go through your day, really, really works and will make a massive difference so the performance of your system, you're not going to overload your system, you're not going to get too hot and you're not going to get too cold. The absolute perfection is to reach that kind of happy medium of a cool dryness as you're active. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful and I'll hope you'll remember the mantra of be bold, start cold. Thanks very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure to come out today to talk to you about this. It's a beautiful day and we are so very blessed to be able to come out into such a beautiful part of the world. Uh, as usual, if you have any comments or questions, pop them in the section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon, and you'll get notified every time the wonderful Harry there posts a new video. So I'm gonna head off before I start chewing off too quickly. I'm gonna head that away, back down towards Abergavenny. And uh, I might even pop into the Crown for a sneaky beer on the way home. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodaloo.